YouTubers. Um, I'm Mirabelle. Um, <laughs> don't really know what I'm gonna say, but I have decided to make a Wiccan account, you know, like, post about my journey and, you know, other Wiccan things. There are a lot of people that do this. There are so many amazing people, like, Brooke Spiker and The Shoe Whisperer, I love them both, and uh, watch their videos all the time. And a lot of the topics I'm going to bring up have been discussed before, and blah blah blah, but I mean, it's always nice to get another person's opinion, right? <laughs> well, so, I found the craft, um, a while ago, May 1st actually, surprisingly Beltane. That's when I converted. I didn't even know it was Beltane at that point. Um, so my year in a day is coming up soon-ish. Um, so, yeah. Um, I found it through a friend of mine. She showed it to me. And, you know, I never felt right with Christianity as I was raised. And I found Wicca. And I did some reading on it, and it just felt right. You know, that moment where your gut's telling you this this is it. This is what you need to do. And that's just what happened. So, yeah. Um, Wicca, to me, is not just a religion, but a way of life, as is being a witch. Um, names interchangeable and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's not just rules and regulation, it's morals and codes of conduct and, and things to live your life by, not that you have to. And I also like that there are many different traditions, and you can be eclectic, and you can choose what you want. I mean, you can't make your own path from the beginning. You have to learn the fundamentals and the different types and all that stuff, but... It's still nice to, like, be able to believe what you want to believe. Like, believe in the god and goddess, or not believe in the god and goddess. Believe they are one. Believe they are different. Believe there are many different ones. All this, like, it's just... It's cool. And I, personally, follow Nyx and er Arubis? Yeah, Arubis. Um, that's my mother and father, in a sense, you know? I come from them both. I am a daughter of the night. Hence my email, night lover Nyx. Um, I am in some groups on Facebook and learn that way, and... I do a lot of reading, and though my path is short and I've only been a pagan since, like, May 1st, I I have some students of my own, and I teach them through Edmodo and Facebook and stuff, and I love it. I love teaching, and I love my family, the Mist Familia, like, as we call it. It's my craft family. My craft name is Mirabelle Mist. Um, and then... Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what to say, but I just want to make a somewhat longish introduction video to this whole thing. Um, well, I should tell you what I'm trying to be, training to be. I am training to be a high priestess and a healer, both things called greatly to me, and... It's just the moment I heard both of those things, it's like, I knew. I, I knew. Yeah. I just knew. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, Dad is texting me, so. Sorry, guys. Um, trying to meet up with some friends at the mall later, 
So, um, sorry. All right, um, but yeah, um, I personally believe in the threefold law. And I, um, um, I believe in the threefold law, and I follow the Wiccan Read and the Thirteen Principles and the Code of Conduct and, um, all that good stuff. Uh, I like the Charge of the Goddess. Personally, my favorite one is the Charge of the Dark Goddess and the Charge of the Dark God. I love those, mostly because they remind me of Nyx and Erebus. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm excited to share my journey with all of you and just sort of go along with it and stuff. I have a mentor of my own. Her name is Mandy, and I love my Vula. Um, and then, you know, I recently redid my altar. Um... Which I can show you guys. Uh, no, I can't because I can't switch. Hold on. Yeah, I can figure this out. Can you see? All right. Let Let's figure. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, you can see this. Um, there's a fairy. She represents earth, and then there's dragonflies which represent air and a candle which represents fire and a bowl of water which represents water and then in the middle there is a crystal with a purple crescent moon on it which represents spirit and then there's the horn god symbol and the triple goddess symbol and I'm not sure if you could see that all too well <laughs> it's hard to work with my iPad yeah and most of these videos will be filmed on my iPad by the way um so yeah uh, any questions you have for me, leave them in comments below and I'll make videos. I mm, wish you all the best of luck in your journeys as well. And yeah, so blessed be, have a wonderful day, and merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Ciao guys!